I stumbled upon an insane AI video trend that's absolutely exploding right now on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook Reels. We're talking about car evolution videos, and creators are racking up millions of views with content that's 100% made with AI. The best part? You don't need expensive software or any video editing experience. I broke down exactly how these videos are made. And today, I'm showing you step-by-step -step how to create your own viral car evolution videos using completely free AI tools. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything you need to start your own channel in this niche. So let's jump right in, starting with how to generate the perfect prompts for your images. Alright, so here's how we're going to kick things off. First thing you need to do is head over to a special Google Doc that I've put together for you. You'll find the link waiting for you down in the description below, and I've also pinned it in the comments section so it's super easy to grab. Once you're in that document, you're going to see what I call the master prompt. Go ahead and copy that entire prompt. Then navigate over to ChatGPT, paste it in there, and hit that generate button. Now, here's where it gets interactive. ChatGPT is going to come back and ask you two specific questions to customize your video. The first question is pretty straightforward. It wants to know which car brand or specific model you're interested in creating an evolution video for. The second question is where you get to choose your creative direction, and it gives you three different style options to work with. Let me break down these three options for you so you understand what each one does. Option A is perfect if you want to showcase the complete legacy of a car brand. This will generate prompts that cover absolutely everything from the very first vehicle that brand ever produced all the way up to their most recent release. Option B is more focused and specialized. This one zeroes in on a specific model within a brand. So let's say you're fascinated by the Ford Mustang. You would enter that and ChatGPT will create prompts for every single generation and iteration of the Ford Mustang specifically. Then there's option C, which gives you the most control because it lets you define a custom time range. Maybe you only want to feature Ford Mustang vehicles that were launched between 2005 and 2025. Or perhaps you want to focus on a specific decade. This option makes that possible. For my demonstration here, I'm going to create a Porsche 911 Evolution video. So I'll type in Porsche 911 and then select option A because I want to capture the entire magnificent history of every Porsche 911 automobile ever manufactured. After I hit generate, ChatGPT goes to work and provides me with incredibly detailed, professionally crafted prompts that are specifically optimized for image generation. These aren't just basic descriptions, they're rich, detailed prompts that will help us create stunning visuals. Now we're moving on to step two, which is where the magic really starts happening with image generation. Navigate over to a platform called Google Flow AI and sign up for free with a new email. You will be given 100 credits to use. However, if you have a Google AI Pro account, no need to sign up for a new account. Now, once you're there, click on the New Project button, and then you'll want to switch over to the Create Images tab. You'll see a settings icon. Click on that and make sure you select the Google Nano Banana Pro model from the drop-down menu. While you're in the settings, also configure the number of outputs you want and choose your preferred aspect ratio based on what platform you're planning to upload to. Before we generate our car images, we actually need to create a consistent background first. This is important because we want all of our cars to appear in the same environment for a cohesive look. Go back to that Google Doc I mentioned earlier and you'll find a second prompt specifically designed for background generation. Copy that prompt, head back to Google Flow, paste it into the prompt box, and hit generate. In just a matter of seconds, the AI will create a beautiful, high-quality background environment for you. Pretty incredible, right? Now here's where we start bringing our cars to life. Click directly on that background image you just generated. When you do that, a new prompt box is going to pop up. This is where we'll add our car into the scene. Go back to ChatGPT and copy that very first car prompt it generated for you. Paste it into this new prompt box in Flow and hit Generate. What happens next is really cool. The AI will composite an image of that first car model directly onto your background, maintaining consistent lighting and perspective. 
Next up, copy the second prompt from ChatGPT, paste it into that same prompt box, and generate again. You'll get your second car model on the same background. You're going to repeat this process systematically. Copy each prompt from ChatGPT one by one, generate the corresponding car image, and keep going until you've created images for every single model in your evolution sequence. Take your time with this part and make sure each image looks good and you download them before moving on. Once you've got your complete collection of car images generated, it's time to bring them to life with motion. Switch over to the Frames to Video tab in Flow. Select your aspect ratio again to match what you chose earlier and set the number of outputs you want. Now you're going to upload your first car image as frame one and your second car image as frame two. Head back to that trusty Google Doc one more time and copy the third prompt. This one is specifically designed for video generation. Paste it into the prompt field and hit generate. After a few minutes of processing, Google VEO 3.1 will deliver a smooth, high quality transformation video But we're not done yet. Now you need to create the transition for the next pair of cars. Take that second car image that you just used as the ending frame in your previous video and now use it as the first frame for your next generation. Then select the third car image as your second frame. Paste that same video generation prompt again and hit generate you're essentially creating a chain of transformations. Continue this process methodically for every consecutive pair of images until you've generated transformation clips for every model in your evolution sequence. After you've got all your individual transformation clips generated and downloaded, it's time to put everything together. Import all of those clips into whatever video editing software you're comfortable with. It could be CapCut, DaVinci Resolve, iMovie, or even the free version of Premiere Pro. Arrange all the clips on your timeline in the correct chronological sequence so the evolution flows naturally from oldest to newest. Now let's add some polish to really make your video stand out. Drop in some appropriate background music, something that matches the luxury and sophistication of the cars you're showcasing. Just make sure you're using royalty-free or properly licensed music to avoid copyright issues. You'll also want to add text overlays for each car, displaying important information like the model name and the year it was released. These details help viewers follow along and really appreciate the evolution they're watching. Maybe add some subtle transitions between clips if you want, or keep it clean and simple. That part is up to your creative vision. Once you've finished all your editing, preview it a few times to make sure everything flows smoothly and you're happy with the final result, export that video. And there you have it. You've just created a professional looking car evolution video that's completely generated using AI tools and you did it all without spending a single penny. Let's preview it. That's the complete process from start to finish for creating these viral worthy car evolution videos. I really hope you found this tutorial valuable and that it's given you the confidence to go out and create your own content in this niche. If this video helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future tutorials. And hey, if you run into any problems or have questions while you're creating your videos, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you troubleshoot. I'll catch you in the next video.